Recently bought a 1949 Shelby Donald Dog Children's Bicycle. 95% there, but they bring really good money. I got some bad news. It's a clone. A fake Donald Dog bike. Rick Harrison, the star of Pawn Stars, has faced a heartbreaking tragedy. Known for his role in the popular TV show, Rick's life took a difficult turn when his father, Richard Oldman Harrison, passed away in 2018. Richard was a beloved part of the show and a key figure in the pawn shop's success. His death was a huge loss for Rick, both personally and professionally. This tragedy touched many fans who admired their close bond and the way they worked together. Rick's story reminds us that even famous people face tough times and loss. So let's get into the video as we will explore more heartbreaking factors of Rick's life, especially the death of a loved one. Richard Kevin Harrison, known to many as Rick Harrison from the popular TV show Pawn Stars, was born on March 22, 1965, in Lexington, North Carolina. His early life was marked by a mix of challenges and unique experiences that helped shape the person he would become. Rick was the third child of Richard Benjamin Harrison and Joan Rue Harrison. His father, Richard Benjamin Harrison, was in the U.S. Navy, which meant that the family moved around quite a bit during Rick's childhood. When Rick was two years old, his family moved from North Carolina to San Diego, California. This move was because of his father's job in the Navy. Living in San Diego, Rick experienced a different environment compared to the small town in North Carolina. The city life in San Diego was bustling and diverse, offering Rick a variety of new experiences. Rick's early years were not easy. At the age of eight, he developed a condition called epileptic seizures. This condition made it difficult for him to attend school regularly, and he often had to stay at home. Because of this, Rick found comfort in books. He loved to read, and he especially enjoyed books about history and science fiction. His favorite book was The Great Brain. This book influenced Rick a lot and sparked his interest in finding creative ways to make money. Rick's parents also played a significant role in his early life. His father, Richard, was strict but hardworking. From a young age, Rick watched his parents work hard to support the family, and this instilled in him a strong work ethic. His father's strict discipline also taught him the importance of being responsible and dependable. Despite his health challenges, Rick was a bright and curious child. He was always looking for ways to learn and grow. When he was a teenager, his family faced financial difficulties. His mother's real estate business was not doing well, and they had to move again. This time, they moved to Las Vegas, Nevada, in 1981, hoping for better opportunities. Moving to Las Vegas was a significant change for Rick. The city was known for its bright lights, casinos, and vibrant lifestyle. It was here that Rick's entrepreneurial spirit began to blossom. At the age of 13, he started his first business, selling fake Gucci bags. He noticed that tourists visiting Las Vegas were willing to buy these counterfeit bags, and he saw an opportunity to make money. This experience taught him valuable lessons about business and the importance of understanding what customers want. Rick attended Taft Middle School and later dropped out of high school during his sophomore year. He believed that he could make more money working and running his small business than by staying in school. Dropping out of school was a bold decision, but Rick was determined to succeed. During his teenage years, Rick continued to find ways to earn money. He worked in his father's pawn shop, learning the trade and understanding the business. This hands-on experience was invaluable and laid the foundation for his future career in the pawn industry. Rick Harrison's early life was filled with challenges and learning experiences. From dealing with a health condition to moving frequently due to his father's Navy career, Rick faced many obstacles. However, his love for reading, his entrepreneurial spirit, and the influence of his hardworking parents helped shape his character and prepared him for the future. His father opened a small secondhand store. Rick dropped out of high school in his junior year and started working in his father's store. The store bought and sold secondhand goods, but Rick saw an opportunity to do more. He was interested in the pawn business, where people could bring in items as collateral for loans. In 1989, Rick and his father decided to open their pawn shop, the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop. It was located on Las Vegas Boulevard, just a few miles from the famous Las Vegas Strip. Starting a pawn shop required a lot of paperwork and a special license, but Rick and his father were determined. They worked hard to get the necessary approvals and finally opened their doors. I in the beginning, business was slow. 
Rick and his father worked long hours, often staying open late into the night. They bought and sold a variety of items, including jewelry, electronics, and collectibles. Rick quickly learned that the pawn business was not just about buying and selling. It was also about building relationships with customers. He treated everyone with respect and tried to help people who were in need of quick cash. Rick's keen eye for valuable items helped the shop grow. He became skilled at spotting rare and valuable items that others might overlook. He also became an expert negotiator, always trying to get the best deal for the shop while being fair to the customers. His hard work and dedication paid off, and the shop started to gain a good reputation in Las Vegas. One of the turning points for the business was when they began to deal in more valuable and unique items. People started bringing in antiques, historical artifacts, and other rare items. Rick's love for history and his knowledge of various subjects helped him identify and appraise these items accurately. This added a new dimension to the shop, attracting more customers and increasing their inventory's value. Another smart move by Rick was using the internet to reach more customers. Before many other businesses, Rick and his father started using online platforms to sell items from the pawn shop. This helped them reach buyers from all over the world and increase their sales significantly. The gold and silver pawn shop continued to grow, and Rick's reputation as a knowledgeable and fair pawnbroker spread. By the early 2000s, the shop was thriving, and they had a steady stream of customers. Rick's business success was built on hard work, knowledge, and a genuine interest in helping people. Rick Harrison's journey from a high school dropout to a successful pawn shop owner is a test to his determination and business acumen. He saw an opportunity in the pawn business, worked hard to learn everything he could about it, and treated his customers with respect. These qualities helped him turn the gold and silver pawn shop into a successful business, laying the foundation for even greater success in the future. Richard Kevin Harrison is a well-known TV personality, primarily famous for his involvement in the pawn shop business. He became widely recognized through the television show Pawn Stars, which showcases the daily activities at his family's pawn shop in Las Vegas, Nevada. The show started in July 2009 on the History Channel. It focuses on the world-famous gold and silver pawn shop, which Rick Harrison co-owns with his father, Richard Benjamin Harrison. The shop was opened by his father in 1989, and Rick joined him shortly after. The idea for the show came about when Rick realized that the unique items and interesting customers who visited the pawn shop could make for great TV. He pitched the idea to several producers, and eventually, the History Channel agreed to create a show around the shop. Pawn Stars is a reality TV show. Each episode features customers bringing in items to pawn or sell. These items can be anything from historical artifacts to rare collectibles. Rick and his team, including his son Corey and Corey's childhood friend Chumley, assess the items and negotiate prices with the customers. The show is not just about buying and selling items. It also educates viewers about the history and significance of the items that come into the shop. Experts are often brought in to appraise items and provide background information. Pawn Stars quickly became one of the most popular shows on the History Channel. Its mix of interesting items, negotiation drama, and educational content appealed to a wide audience. The show's success can be attributed to Rick's expertise, engaging personality, and the unique dynamic between the shop staff. Rick's ability to assess the value of items and his straightforward negotiation style made him a key figure on the show. Viewers enjoyed watching the interactions between Rick, his family, and the customers. The show's success also led to increased business for the pawn shop, attracting tourists from all over the world. With the popularity of Pawn Stars, Rick Harrison expanded his business ventures. He opened a restaurant called Rick's Rollin' Smoke Barbecue and Tavern near the pawn shop in Las Vegas. This allowed fans of the show to enjoy a meal while visiting the famous pawn shop. Rick also capitalized on his TV fame by making guest appearances on other TV shows and participating in interviews and events. This helped to keep Pawn Stars in the public eye and maintain its popularity. Like any successful venture, Pawn Stars faced its share of challenges and controversies. There were legal issues involving some of the show's cast members, including Chumley, who faced legal troubles. Despite these challenges, the show continued to thrive, largely due to Rick's leadership and ability to keep the focus on the business. Pawn Stars had a significant impact on the pawn shop industry. It brought a lot of positive attention to pawn shops, 
which were often viewed negatively before the show. The show demonstrated that pawn shops could be places where valuable and interesting items are traded and where history can be appreciated. Rick Harrison's approach to running the pawn shop and the transparency shown on the TV show helped to change public perceptions of pawn shops. Many viewers became more interested in visiting pawn shops and learning about the items they could find there. Rick Harrison's TV business through Pawn Stars turned his family pawn shop into a world-famous establishment. The show's blend of history, negotiation, and engaging personalities captured the interest of millions of viewers. Rick's vision and business acumen played a crucial role in the show's success, making Pawn Stars a staple of reality television and significantly boosting the profile of the pawn shop industry. Rick's first significant relationship was with his high school girlfriend, Kim. The couple had their first child, Corey, when Rick was just 17 years old. Corey was born on April 27, 1983. Rick and Kim married soon after Corey was born. The young family struggled financially, and Rick worked hard to support them. Kim became pregnant again, and the couple welcomed their second son, Adam, into the world. However, the strain of financial difficulties and the challenges of young parenthood took their toll. Rick and Kim's marriage did not last, and they eventually divorced. After his first marriage ended, Rick continued to focus on his career and raising his sons. Rick met his second wife, Tracy, a few years after his divorce from Kim. Rick and Tracy married in 1986. Tracy became a stepmother to Rick's two sons, Corey and Adam. Together, Rick and Tracy had a third son, Jake. The family lived a relatively private life, away from the public eye, until the success of Pawn Stars brought them into the spotlight. The Harrison family worked together at the pawn shop. Corey, also known as Big Hoss, played a significant role in the business and on the show. His childhood friend, Austin Chumley Russell, also joined the team and became a beloved character on the show. Rick's father, Richard Benjamin Harrison, affectionately known as The Old Man, was a key figure in the shop and on the show until his passing in 2018. Rick's second marriage to Tracy eventually ended in divorce. Despite the end of their marriage, Rick continued to maintain a close relationship with his children. He has often spoken about how important family is to him and how much he values the time spent with his sons. Rick found love again and married his third wife, Deanna Burdett, in 2013. The couple had a beautiful wedding ceremony in Laguna Beach, California. Deanna has three children from her previous marriage and Rick embraced his role as a stepfather. The blended family has shared many happy moments together. In his personal time, Rick enjoys reading and has a particular interest in history. He often shares his knowledge and passion for historical artifacts on Pawn Stars. His love for learning is something he has passed on to his children, encouraging them to pursue their interests and dreams. Rick Harrison's life is a test to hard work and dedication. Despite facing challenges, he has built a successful career and a loving family. His journey from a young father struggling to make ends meet to a well-known television personality is an inspiring story. Through it all, Rick has remained grounded, always valuing his family and the lessons he has learned along the way. Despite his success, Rick has faced significant hardships and internal problems in running his business. One major challenge Rick faced involved internal conflicts within the shop. Managing a family business can be tough, and Rick experienced this firsthand. His father, Richard Benjamin Harrison, was a co-owner of the shop. They often disagreed on business decisions. These disagreements sometimes created tension not only between Rick and his father, but also among the rest of the staff. Balancing respect for his father's experience and asserting his own ideas was a constant struggle for Rick. Another internal issue Rick dealt with was managing the employees. The show portrays the shop as a fun and lively place, but running a successful business requires discipline and hard work. Rick had to ensure that his employees were not only knowledgeable about various items, but also committed to the job. This was not always easy, and there were times when employees' lack of dedication or mistakes led to significant problems for the shop. The dynamics between Rick and his co-workers, especially his childhood friend Corey, Big Hoss, Harrison, and Chumley, added another layer of complexity. While their antics made for good television, it also meant that Rick had to constantly balance the need for a professional working environment with the entertainment aspect of the show. This sometimes led to stress and frustration. 
One of the most significant hardships Rick faced was a lawsuit involving his mother. After the death of Rick's father in 2018, a legal dispute arose over his father's will. Joe sued Rick, claiming that he was trying to take control of her share of the family trust. This lawsuit was not only financially taxing but also emotionally draining for Rick. The conflict with his mother added a personal dimension to the professional challenges he was already facing. It strained family relationships and created additional stress for Rick. In addition to the lawsuit with his mother, Rick also had to deal with other legal and financial challenges. Running a pawn shop means handling a wide variety of items, some of which can be valuable and rare. Ensuring that all transactions were legal and that the shop complied with regulations was a constant task. Any mistakes could lead to legal issues or financial losses. For example, there were instances when the shop inadvertently bought stolen goods, which then had to be returned to their rightful owners. Such incidents not only led to financial loss, but also harmed the shop's reputation. Rick's business was also impacted by economic changes. The pawn industry is closely tied to the economy. When the economy is strong, fewer people need to pawn items for quick cash. Conversely, during economic downturns, more people turn to pawn shops. Navigating these fluctuations required careful planning and financial management. Rick had to ensure that the shop remained profitable regardless of the economic climate, which was a constant challenge. Rick Harrison's journey with the gold and silver pawn shop has been filled with various hardships, internal conflicts, employee management issues, and balancing the demands of a reality TV show with running a business were significant challenges. The lawsuit with his mother added a deeply personal and emotional dimension to his struggles. Additionally, legal, financial, and economic challenges constantly tested his resilience. Despite these difficulties, Rick's determination and hard work have helped him maintain the success of the pawn shop. One of the most tragic was the death of his son, Adam Harrison. This event had a profound impact on Rick and his family. Adam Harrison, Rick's son from his first marriage, passed away at a young age. The loss of a child is one of the most heartbreaking experiences a parent can endure, and Rick's pain was immense. Adam's death was due to complications from epilepsy, a neurological disorder that causes recurrent seizures. Seizures can vary in severity, and in Adam's case, they were severe enough to be life-threatening. Epilepsy is a condition that affects the brain's electrical activity. It can cause seizures, which are sudden bursts of electrical activity in the brain that can affect how a person appears or acts for a short time. Adam's epilepsy was particularly challenging to manage, and despite the best efforts of his family and medical professionals, his seizures were difficult to control. Adam's death was sudden and unexpected, leaving Rick and his family in shock and deep sorrow. The emotional toll was enormous. Losing a child is not only a profound personal loss, but also a source of great emotional and psychological strain. Rick struggled with feelings of grief, helplessness, and sadness. The death of a child often leads to questions of why, and what could have been done, which can be very hard to answer and can haunt parents for a long time. In the aftermath of Adam's death, Rick had to find a way to cope with his grief while continuing to manage the pawn shop and maintain his public persona on Pawn Stars. The show must go on, but the pain of losing his son was always present. This balance was incredibly difficult, as the demands of the business and the show required Rick to be present and focused, even when his heart was heavy with sorrow. Rick's experience with the loss of Adam also brought attention to the importance of epilepsy awareness and the need for better treatment options for those suffering from the condition. Epilepsy is often misunderstood, and many people are not aware of how serious it can be. Rick's tragedy highlights the need for more research and support for families dealing with epilepsy. The support of friends, family, and fans was crucial for Rick during this challenging time. The outpouring of condolences and sympathy from those who knew about his loss provided some comfort, though nothing could truly take away the pain of losing Adam. Rick had to rely on his inner strength and the support of those closest to him to navigate through his grief. Rick's resilience in the face of such a devastating loss is a testament to his character. Despite the profound grief, he continued to run the gold and silver pawn shop and participate in Pawn Stars. This perseverance showed his dedication to his family and his business, even in the most trying times. So that was the video guys, don't forget to like, 
subscribe and share your feelings about Rick Harrison's life. Thank you so much for watching.